of all, it's very difficult because naturally the Democrats and Republicans control the system, they control the elections, and their main goal, above all others, even though they won't admit it, is to keep anyone else out of the game. They want it just the two of them. And the only way is for the people to rise up at the ballot box and not vote for Democrats and Republicans. Like I've said, we're a bunch of lemmings right now. All we think is that these are our two choices. We think that if we don't vote for them, we're wasting our vote. That's not true. Wasting your vote is not voting your heart and not voting your conscience. That's a wasted vote. I don't vote for Democrats or Republicans, and I'm proud to say so, that I haven't for over 20 years. Probably more than that. I can't even remember the last time that I voted for a Democrat or a Republican. And more people have to do that at the ballot box and not be pablum fed by the, Minis or by the United States media. I almost said Minnesota media, but they're included too. By the United States media, who is also part of this two-party system, and they won't give anyone else a chance in the game. You know, it's control, and until we rise up and break the control as a people, we will continue to get the media that we get, and we will continue to get the government we get. Always remember this, Thomas Jefferson, who helped create this great country, made a quote, dissension is the greatest form of patriotism. Today we're told dissension is not patriotic. Well, I believe Thomas Jefferson had a far better knowledge of what this country was supposed to be than Do George Bush and Dick Cheney. I, 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 I really want to ask you, I mean, what you're, what you're saying, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, the, the only question is, um, I mean, how, how realistic uh, is this, I mean, in, in, in the United States at this stage in the game? Uh, I mean, is the, are the people really, uh, you know, coming along and, and seeing the way you're looking at things? Okay, um, I did the Larry King show last week on the book tour. And Larry King, at the start of the show, posed the question, should Jesse Ventura be running for president? Well, over 15,000 people took time to weigh in on that. Now, most of the po political polls in America, they sample about 800 people. Here, 15,000 weighed in, and I was stunned. I thought if I got 60%, it would be good. 88% of the people said that I should also be running for president right now. That speaks volumes to me. It tells me that there's a majority of people, a silent majority out there, who are as unhappy as I am, who don't believe that, uh, you know, there's going to be change. You know, candidate Barack Obama is talking change, 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 and his popularity is very great, but unfortunately he's still a Democrat. I don't believe he can implement this change because he'll be a puppet on the strings of the Democratic Party. And for those people that think the Democrats have courage, well, in 2006, the country clearly voted on a mandate to get us out of Iraq. The Democratic Party has failed to do so. In fact, they haven't done anything. And their excuse is they can't override Bush's vetoes. Well, that's baloney. Because all they, they control both the House and the Senate. All they have to do is withhold the money and our troops come home. Can I quote to you um, a, a part of your book you wrote in the epilogue, uh, which you titled A Glimpse into the Future. You looked at the situation in America in October of this year, uh, so six months into the future. You, you describe a scenario uh, where the president has declared martial law in response to a reign of terror. Now, here's, here's an excerpt where you say, explosions rocked entire blocks of five American cities. In announcing that immediate suspension of the in announcing that immediate suspension of the Constitution was warranted, the president warned that American military forces, as well as private contractors, would have shoot to kill orders for people intent on violating nightly curfews. Now, can you ever see it getting that bad in the land of the free and the, the home of the brave? I I can foresee these parties doing just about anything to hold their power, and. Uh, I wrote that because I wanted to make an example and I used myself because I learned that when I was governor you can't you you can you can only you can't really get in trouble if you use yourself as the example and I wanted to use myself as an example that I believe that there's the great possibility that if an independent like me with no strings attached 
were to challenge these two parties to become the President of the United States, the most powerful man in the free world, I believe that that person very well could face assassination, if not physically, certainly politically and personally. You actually write in the book, and I'll quote this from the assassination attempt you mentioned, uh, looking at November, early November of this year, while independent presidential candidate Jesse Ventura, in a coma for the fourth consecutive day, clung to life. I mean, it sounds very grim. Having said that, you, you, you live in, uh, you live mostly in Baja, Mexico now, and we had a, we had a um, uh, reference to that, and I want to get to that, and actually quote you from the book uh, in that. You say, in a way, here in Baja, I'm now living my life, or living the life, that many of us dream about, being away from the rat race. My life is far more spiritual. So one viewer asked uh, in response to that, you had made you have made uh, Baja Mexico your home. Are Mexicans in, as inhospitable to you as we have been to them? That's Linda in Connecticut. Well, not at all. Uh, I find the Mexican people that were these brown-skinned people were so terrified of. I find them remarkable. They're excellent workers with their hands. To watch them build a house is to watch an artist because they don't have where I live. I live an hour from pavement and I live an hour from electricity. My house is completely solar. I live off the sun. So naturally, when people, when a house is built out there, they have to build it from the ground up with just raw materials. And the Mexican people, I find, are terrific. I don't even speak Spanish hardly. I'm just learning, but they're very patient. Uh, they laugh when I wreck the language and all that. But I find them, uh, and I, I also find it very refreshing. I wish that hypothetically, every person in the United States could leave the United States for six months and view it from the outside looking in as opposed to the inside looking out. I, I'm not happy with my country because we've become very arrogant. We refuse to admit when we've made a mistake or have done something wrong. And then when we've gone down the wrong road, it stay the course no matter what the end results are. I remember my president standing on an aircraft carrier years ago declaring victory in Iraq. Well, if we had victory at that point in Iraq, why didn't we come home? Instead, now we're occupying Iraq. With a minute to go, let's squeeze in a call from London. Kareem, what would you like to ask? Hi, uh, what I'd like to ask is, administration has gone to Iraq on a big lie, Mr. Ventura. Do you agree with that? There were no weapons of mass destruction. There was nothing what they were telling us about. And the thing is, if now we know that it's a lie, why the American people won't ask the Bush administration for the troops to leave Iraq? And if I, they can't ask right. me to do that, so uh, it's green? Yeah. Let's, let's get a, we've got 30 seconds, let's get to Jesse Ventura's answer. Well, uh, uh, why? Because, because the people here, I just spoke of their arrogance. In a way, they're very arrogant. They won't admit that we were wrong to go in there. They don't want to admit that their president and their administration deceived them right. and got them involved in a war. And believe me, the war is about oil. Right. Anyone that tells you anything different, I think, is wrong. It's about oil and oil alone.